morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, I want to welcome you to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, I thought I'd share a few um, of of my um, <laughs> a few of my incidents or a few of my fears with y'all this morning. Um, this morning here, and what kicks up my uh, this is just what it kicks up my um, all my emotions. It kicks up my anxiety. It kicks up my um, phobias, and that is, you know, I'm gonna have y'all let y'all meet my dog, but we, you know, he, I have neighbors next door who have bunny rabbits, and um, for some reason, the bunny rabbits keep getting out. Now, mind you, these next door neighbors of mine, who I really have no complaint about, they're, in fact, they're, they're good neighbors, you know, Besides this little incident with the bunnies, but when the when they first moved over here, you know their dog, which is used, he's used to being in a um, out in the country, obviously, and of course I live on the main drag, and so the first thing I noticed that was weird was the dog just got out and laid out in the middle of the street, and I live on a major thoroughfare. Oh my God! Luckily for them, my brother came. And um, he was, you know, passing by, and he decided to get out and pick the dog up and, um, you know, bring the dog back across the street. He was like, oh, my God, you know, you can't just lay out in the middle of the street. Whose dog is this? And so, um, but now I have this anxiety because um, phobias, they kick in because these every time I take my dog outside and... You know, he's getting very, he's very strong now because he's like an adolescent or a young man. You know, he's, uh, yeah, he's about three now. And, you know, he's starting to fill out in his chest and stuff. And he's heavy. He's So he's very good on a walk. He's fine. He doesn't go after people. Um, in fact, he's quite friendly, and people were like, oh, my God, is that dog bite? But what the problem is is that he already he went after a squirrel, and he caught him in the backyard. And before I could say, don't, he picked him up and killed him. And then I said, drop it. And then he dropped it, and the thing was shaking. And, oh, y'all, it was, it was something that you don't want to deal with in the morning. You know, and unfortunately, I have, a, and he's, that's his nature. I mean, but, and plus he's a terrier. So every time I go outside now, I don't know where the rabbits are. Usually they hide under my car. And so the other day, he, I took him out and he jumped down on all fours and started trying to squeal on up under the car. I was like, oh my God. So I pulled him back by his back legs, and um, I was like, "Uh, uh-uh. uh, you know, I can't, be, I can't deal with this. Okay, this, you know, I'm, I'm too old for this. But it is crazy because I'm, you know, this was never a concern of mine, and now that it is happened about two or three times, and then they come over at night looking for the uh, bunnies with flashlights. This is. It's like, okay, oh boy. Um, but if that's the last lease of my stress, I guess I can't complain, right? Because it could be a lot worse. I, and I realize that. So, however, this has become one of the sticklers that I have for now taking my dog outside because it's certainly, I, you know, I have to wait till it's bright. We don't, we don't go out when it's still dark. Because I can't find them. And I definitely don't know where the rabbits are. And look, let me just say this and I'm going to close, y'all. Because I know this is my problem. But y'all, I got to share it with my family. 
the worst ain't problem I could have is if I wake up and I take him out there and he get a hold to one of these bunnies because they are real big. They look, they are furry and just, ooh, they're really huge. I don't know what kind of hair is these. They're hairs. They're, well, anyway, enough of that. But the worst thing that could happen to me is that I go out there and he get a he gets a hold to one of them and shake them and do them like he did that squirrel. I wouldn't be able to take it. I really wouldn't. Um, so I just thought I'd share that with y'all today because that this is getting to be a little bit much. And so if y'all know, if um, I come in here or I give a story about my dog experience, you know, you heard it here first. All right. I guess I'm about to take him out now. See you later, family. Bye-bye.